Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hot Gazette. Here with my next video, and uh, this one I'm talking about what I want to see in the next update from Supercell. Uh, various features, just small things to change kind of what's going on right now. Because I think the game's in a pretty good place. Uh, definitely has been getting better and better uh, over the last like six months or so. So it's been awesome. But I think there's still a few things that make the game even better uh, that I would like to see implemented. So uh, it is it's getting <clears throat> somewhat close to a new update just based on the timing of this because uh, just looking at how they've spaced things out so far, I think in like July, maybe early July, uh, we should be getting some kind of update if uh, things kind of go as they have in the past, if the pattern continues. So we're not far from one, which is why it's a good idea to talk about the update. And also, we're in between wars and Genesis. We're waiting to match for an arranged war, uh, which will uh, match tomorrow and uh, have that going on over the weekend. So stay tuned. Should get some live action from that. So that should be fun. But anyway, before that uh, happens, this is a good chance to talk about the update uh, that should be coming out soon. So as far as what I think we need in it, the first thing is uh, change to friendly challenges. I think there were a great idea to add them. The only thing is that they need to take away the cook time on troops uh, because the whole point is for this to uh, foster innovation and people to improve their skills. But right now, it's just you have to, you can't build an army specific to a base until you see the base in advance, then you build the army. So if you want to have a tailor made army for a base, you have to either have someone like DM you a base and then be on at the same time to do the attack or have someone request the friendly challenge in game and then have make them wait in game for you to cook up your troops which, which might take 30 minutes 45 minutes if you don't jam it so uh, that that's kind of the issue right now and I think if they just make it so that you know independent of your farming army or whatever armies in your army camps as soon as you go into a friendly challenge you open up a screen you choose what troops you want, maybe even choose what CC troops you want. Uh, so all of this is just free, no cook chime, just sandbox it up. And I think that would really allow people to uh, specifically make an army for a certain base because right now it's it's a, a bit of a uh, burden to have to uh, cook up the army after you've seen the base and uh, try to do it that way. So I think that change would really uh, help innovation keep going even faster because the friendly challenges are cool but right now I think they're just a little bit limiting and I think that would be a good change that really wouldn't hurt anything I don't see any downside to it so that's why I think it's such an important change uh, the next thing I think is uh, they need to balance out the spam troops being the bowlers and even the miners a little bit I've seen a little bit of minor action uh, which is basically where you drop a bunch of miners and they just make their way through the base you don't even need to really have any support troops just use some spells, use your miners and your heroes maybe have a very small kill squad or something and that along with the bowlers has been just OP at Town Hall 10 and 11 and I think that when they add the new troops it's always difficult to know how they're going to be used because even the bowlers were like not used at all so they had to buff them and then that led to them being way too overpowered so I think the, the lesson that Supercell can take away from this is if people aren't using a new thing at the, be at the beginning right when it comes out I think that's fine and that's actually how it should be because if it's too obvious as, how, as far as how to use it, uh, it's way too powerful because certain troops, need, you have to, you should be able to have to figure them out. They shouldn't just be apparent in their use. So I think there needs to be a small tweak to make bowlers and miners a little bit less powerful. Maybe do times two damage by giant bombs or something similar like that to really take away some of the power of those spam troops and... Uh, kind of restore some of the skill needed to three star at Town Hall 10 and mainly even Town Hall 11 because they're so much powerful, so much more powerful with that warden behind them. So I think if they, uh, if they're kind of curved at Town Hall 11 a little bit and you take away some of the power, I'm not sure how you would do it, but some kind of defensive change to uh, limit them, that would really make it a little more balanced up there. And hopefully we'll see some more creative attacks that happen because right now just a little bit too overpowered and I think, you know, as far as the clone spell goes and the skeleton spell and other new tr troops and spells that we've seen inside the game, 
the baby dragon maybe even if they're not being used that much i think that's good i think that you know wait six months if they're still not being used yeah change it but right now keep it how it is we don't want to have to go back and waste and like a part of an update having to change make a change to balance out the change that was made before if that makes sense so don't don't go too far to the other end of the spectrum before you see exactly how it's going to play into the game um but as far as the town hall levels go in general i think they're pretty balanced and everyone was saying uh in myself included how town hall 9 was going to be so ruined by the uh by by how the town hall 10 town hall 11 have become more three-star games in the past uh the, the updates have made it three-starring way more viable at town hall 10 and 11 and because of that the trickle down goes to town hall 9 where you get troops in your cc and various things like that the 30 seconds actually went back that was one of the main things that kind of ruined town hall 9 uh, which actually did have a serious impact on it but i think town hall 9 is looking good town hall 10 is looking good and even town hall 11 maybe even with that small change uh of eliminate eliminating the spam troops which has always kind of haunted town hall 11 whether it's witches or bowlers or miners or whatever but if they can find a way to make that warden not just be associated with spam troops that could really allow uh, Town Hall 11 to fully be a, a good Town Hall to play at in war. And I think Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 are pretty good right now, as it is. Uh, so anyway, I'm not going to complain too much. Val- or Valk's too powerful, probably a little bit. Um, but you know what? I think I'm pretty content, especially as a Town Hall 10, because uh, at least Valk's have a pretty good shot at three-starring some bases, which is a lot better than what you used to see uh, six months ago before Valk's got the buff. So anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. No big changes needed, but maybe a, a few small things to Town Hall 11. And uh, here or there, they can maybe uh, try to get air troops used a little bit more. Try to take Valks away a little bit, or at least add st- stuff to other troops to make them more uh, appealing. But nothing too big. I think we're pretty much good uh, for Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 right now. Um, another thing I want to talk about is uh, air troops at Town Hall 11. Because they added the level 4 Lava Hound in the uh, level, what is it, level 7 Balloon, which is actually two pretty drastic changes, and I really haven't seen them being used besides in like the CC, like a level 4 Lava Hound in your clan castle at Town Hall 9 mainly. Uh, but I I would like to see the Warden being used as, a, as an air troop because he has that ability in being able to uh, three-star at Town Hall 11 with... A Gola Loon, like how you used to do it at Town Hall 10, back before Valks got the buff. So I'm not sure if that we're going to see that change, because the update hasn't been out for long enough, in my opinion, for them to really know what's going to happen with the new troop levels. I think it's another one of those situations where you don't want to uh, assume things too fast, because I'm hoping, and maybe we'll see it, that people will figure out the level 4 Lava Hound and level 7 Balloon, and use that Warden on air to support those troops and maybe even see some uh, three stars at Town Hall 11 using air troops because it's so dominated by Valks and bowlers and miners and kind of the ground spam troops that we're seeing right now. I want to uh, see some air troops and I think that that was pretty significant adding the new uh, balloons and lava hounds. So hopefully that was enough and we'll see some more balance up there. So that was good. We'll wait and see on that one. That could uh, kind of solve itself maybe at Town Hall 11. Uh, they might not need to make a change if uh, that proves to be a good uh, option for an air attack. But anyway, uh, one last thing, and uh, this is something that might be kind of controversial, and especially because, you know, it's people for so long were didn't hear a whole lot from Supercell in response to what they wanted in the game, especially the war community. But something that I think I would like to see at least, which a lot of people would think is stupid, but is customizable kind of skins for your heroes. And I, I don't want to sound like a you know Minecraft guy when I say that or something, but because I, I don't really play Minecraft, but uh, I think having that would really give you that benefit because your, your base, you work on it for so long and it's something that you spend so much time on. I think that being able to have the ability to unlock certain cloaks for your queen, certain, you know, little uh, customizable armor for your king, stuff like that would really, you know, make the the hero upgrades a little more worth it and allow you to customize your base. I'm really big on being able to customize things, make your troops unique from other troops, and at least start with the heroes, maybe have different color 
queen hair or something. Just make the queen, the king look cooler, the warden even. And I think that that won't affect gameplay, which is why a lot of people won't, won't like it. But um, I'm pretty content with gameplay as it is. I, ma I mentioned some changes, nothing too urgent, but I would like to see that, at least in the game. So maybe a stupid idea, maybe not. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, those are my ideas. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks. Uh, I should get back to some live action tomorrow or the next day as soon as I can because I know that's kind of what's up to bat on the channel as far as what video I should make next. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys pretty soon. Bye, Sector Toronto.